presence of the Lord under his wings, Father, we give you praise. And we give you glory, O oh God, and we honor you one more time, Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you, God, that we find safety under your wings, O oh God. We give you praise, hallelujah. We worship you, God, our Father. And we bless your holy name for, ah, there is no name like your name, O oh God. Your name is a high tower. The righteous runs to it and is safe. And we thank you for the safety, hallelujah, that your name provides for us, O oh God. We thank you for the safety, God, that your wings provide for us. We thank you, O oh God, our oh Father, and we praise you. Hallelujah, we magnify your holy name and give you all the praise and the glory, O oh God, that you are King of kings and you are Lord of lords, that you are Alpha and the Omega, that you are the high and lifted of God, that you are exalted above everything that we can go through. Hallelujah, we thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, and we praise you too. We magnify your holy name as our Savior and Lord. We thank you that you are high priest for the church of Jesus Christ. We thank you for Calvary's cross and its divine protection. We thank you for your blood that was shed for us. We praise you, Lord God of hosts. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We magnify you, O God, and we exalt you, O high and majestic, holy, righteous, worthy one. We give you praise and pray, God, that you will take this word. Let your blessed Holy Spirit have his way with it. Let your word go forward to God Almighty. And let it take refuge in the hearts of your people. We give you praise again and we give you all the glory. In all the name, but in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior and God's children, we will agree and say, Amen and Amen. I will not hesitate but to entitle this message, Unguarded. Unguarded. Mm -hmm. See, I was reading the word of God, and the, as I was going through it, the Holy Spirit says, Unguarded. And I says, yes, Unguarded. Where are we going with this, Lord? And he showed me, he says, Psalm 91 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. Unguarded, then if you're under uh, the wings of Almighty God, then you are going to find refuge and you will be guarded. Amen. If you understand what guarded means, is that so many folks sometimes you see those who are celebrities, they have their men behind them keeping guard. Those who are in high authority, they have to have the secret service providing guard for them. I went to London and I saw the guards who were at uh, the Queen's residence and they stood and they were standing guard. They were watching. And God's people have the same guard upon them. We have to understand who we are in Christ. The word of God says that we are a peculiar people. And that we are people of God. And that we say, share, we share the same and thing that Jesus Christ shared. Amen. Whatever is his, it is ours. Amen. And so that tells me then that it puts us in a category that we will be on target for the enemy. And because of that, God's people have to be guarded. How can you and I be guarded? We can be guarded only by Almighty God. Amen. And the, the song says, under his wings. Amen. Under his wings, we find refuge. And then Psalm 91 says, if you dwell in the secret place of the Most High God, you will abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. Amen. So we are safe under uh, the shadow of Almighty God. If we're outside God's umbrella, then we cannot expect that we are going to have that guard 
worship, if you want to call it that, you are going to be unguarded. And it's critical in a time like this that God's people are under guard. That you, there's divine power and his mighty, awesome righteousness and, and power to the Holy Spirit is with us. Amen. Unless we have that, then we cannot claim full safety from Almighty God. And sometimes God's people are outside of that umbrella. They're outside of that umbrella. I'm going to use God's word to show you how we can find ourselves outside of God's umbrella. Lord. The word of God says that. We're talking about the children of Israel going from Egypt and going to the promised land. And Egypt was, you know, a place of solemnity. They go through so much there. They suffered in Egypt and God was taking them now to the promised land which was promised to their, from their forefathers were on earth. God promised this land, Canaan land to them. And children of Israel from time to time though, they found themselves outside of God's umbrella because of disobedience. God will tell them, do this and they went contrary to what God told them to do. And if you and I continue to do that, if we do that, then we're going to find ourselves outside of God's guardianship. We're going to be unguarded, if you want to put it like that. God's people have to know that. We have to walk in obedience with Almighty God. And if so many times things come upon us, and it is because of disobedience, because we have gone contrary to what God has told us to do. The children of Israel had gone and they took Jericho. We read about that. That they destroyed it totally. But God gave them the instruction not to take anything, the spoils. They should leave it alone. But only the vessels of bronze and iron they should take because it was consecrated to be used in the treasury of the Lord. And the children of Israel, they went and they were victorious. They tore down Jericho and, and, and tore everything apart, seized everything that was in it. And the only family that was left, it was Rahab and her family. And what the word of God says that there was just one person, one person among Israel, who went contrary to what God said. Mm -hmm. God says, don't take anything. But Achan, we read it in the word of God, that Achan went contrary to what God says. Mm -hmm. And Achan took some garments and all the things and he took it to his camp and he buried it, hid it there. But didn't he know that God was watching him? Mm -hmm. God gave him a direction. He gave instruction, but he went contrary to God's instruction. And so when they went and they took Jericho and the next city they should have taken is Ai. And they went and when they went to Ai, Ai fought them and wept, whipped them and sent them flying and running, which was contrary, contrary to what God had promised his people. So Joshua, who was commander of the people, he went to God and he said, how is this? Why did I, we have to flee from Ai? Why didn't we take Ai, as you had said? And God said to him, because there is sin in the camp. Sin in the camp. I want God's people to listen up to this word. Because we can have a group of people and if one person in that group decide to go contrary to God's word and his instruction, we can break. God is looking at the entire group yes. or your entire household. This is yes. how it is. Yes. If you have someone in your household who decide to go contrary to what God says, you can have the divine. You can have the divine judgment of yes. Almighty God yes. upon your house. My Lord. So when Joshua saw God about it, God says, there is sin in the camp. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody has sinned because somebody took uh, from Jericho what they shouldn't have taken. My Lord. And when the lot was shown and they cast lot, it fell upon Achan and Achan lost his life. I'm just going through it just to let you know what happened. All right. And then, so Ai was there again because God says, now that you have destroyed the sin Amen. in your midst, Amen. you can go again. Take another hit of AI. Yeah. But this time God gave them instructions again. He told them that they should go into AI and, you know, put some men behind in ambush and some should approach AI. And he says, once you go in, when they are coming out, you flee from them. And AI is going to think that it's the same thing is repeating because you had fled from them in the first place. My Lord. And the word of God says, if you look, we see where Joshua chapter 7 talks about the defeat of Ai. Mm -hmm. This time the children of Israel carried out the instruction of Almighty Amen. God. And because they carried out the full instruction, they were fully guarded by Almighty God. So they went in and then here when Ai, the men of Ai saw the children of Israel fleeing from them. They chased after them. And they left the entire city unguarded. My Lord. They left the city unguarded. And the word of God, it was that when Jesus, when the Holy Spirit said to me, unguarded. Mm -hmm. We got to be watchful saints of God. Yes. He says, just as how uh, the city of Ai was left unguarded, that God's people can be left unguarded as well if we don't follow the instructions of Almighty God. My Lord. He says, there's no difference. Mm. And so when Ai left, the children of Israel went and they seized the city and they burned it down. And when they realized and saw what was going, everything was done already. God's people had taken captive of the city and overthrew the city. And you know, and we need to look up and that. We need to look into that. Because the Holy Spirit says to me that it is the same way when we leave ourselves unguarded. That the devil can step in. The devil can come right in. Last week, we talked about the fact that he was battling for the mind. And we use Ephesians 6 and how we should be all guarded by the whole power of Almighty God. Amen. Putting on the entire arm, arm of God. Amen. That's the only time, church, that we can be fully guarded when we are in full fellowship with Almighty God. Amen. Then we can know that whatever God promises to us, that it is sure. Amen. So, you know, sometimes we see certain things and, and it doesn't happen and we see God. Why mm -hmm. is it? My Lord. Why is it that this doesn't happen? Hmm. Or why is it that I prayed and, you know, and this doesn't happen? Why is it that this happened to Saul and it is not happening to me? And it is for us to seek God on that. Amen. Because if you're not, you and I are not in full fellowship with Almighty God, then we cannot seek the full guardianship of God. My Lord. You know, the Holy Spirit showed me that. He says, if you are not in fellowship, total fellowship with Christ, then you leave that opening. There is a window that is opened for the enemy to come in. So God's people have to be in full fellowship with Almighty God for us, for you and I, to continue to experience the full guardianship of Almighty God. This is why Psalm 91 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of, his, of the Almighty God. So if you and I are not in that secret place. My Lord. And what is the secret place? The secret place is in full fellowship with Almighty God. Amen. The secret place is that you and I have surrendered our will to Almighty Amen. God. If our will is not totally surrendered. My if Lord. it's part time surrendered. Mm. 
then we are not going to be dwelling in the secret place of Almighty God. My Lord. If we are sometimes on the reserve. Mm -mm -mm. Last week the Holy Spirit talked about that. Yes. That Christians who are on reserve. And that you are not fully in the army of Christ. That you are sitting on the, on the side and waiting. But when you are fully emerged in the, 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 the salvation of Almighty God, yeah. when you truly accept Jesus Christ and you and I are living and, and, and in fellowship with God, mm -hmm. then we can claim the promises of God. Amen. Outside of that, it's not that God doesn't love his people, but if out of obedience, disobedience we choose to do, then there are certain ramifications for that. Yes, there are yes. going to be certain repercussions when you and I go against what God has said. My so God. what God's people need to do is always seek God. If we want to be in full fellowship and we want to be fully guarded by God, then we have to be in total obedience with Him. Mm. Psalm 127 verse 1 says, Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain. Who built it? Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. God has to be in everything. Amen. He has to be first in our Amen. plans. Amen. We have to surrender our will to Almighty God. Amen. For God to continue to give us the full guardianship. Outside of that church, we are unguarded. That's what the Spirit showed me. We are totally unguarded if we are not to, totally sold out for God. If we are going to have our own desire that we want to do, then we are open to the devil to do all kind of things. We're open to the devil to take us down some roads that we shouldn't be on. And that's the whole thing, church. We got to understand the principles of how God operates. Isaiah 52, 11 to 12 says, depart, depart, go out from there. Touch no unclean thing. Go out from the midst of her. Be clean, you who bear the vessels of the Lord. For you shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight. For the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your guard. And those who trust in the Lord. I love that scripture. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which Amen. cannot be moved. Amen. If your trust in, is fully in God, yes. the Holy Scripture says that you will not be removed. You cannot be moved. And he said, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth and forever. And, and you know, it's for God people to understand that it is simple. It's not, a, it's not a hard complication. If we want God's fellowship, if we want, want God's full guardianship, if we want him to watch over us, there is an umbrella that we have to stay under. Amen. If we take ourselves outside of the umbrella, then the rain is going to wet yes. and the sun will burn and it's up to us to take ourselves back under it. Outside of God's umbrella, we are unguarded. Amen. Anything can happen Amen. when we are outside of the umbrella of God. We look at also the scriptures today that talk about Peter. Mm. Hmm. Peter. Peter, a disciple who walked with God, yes. with Jesus. Yes. He fellowship with Jesus. Mm. He got a lot of teachings from Jesus. Yes. He read the word and man knew what was right from what was wrong. And the word of God says that in Luke 22 that Jesus one day was with his disciples and he told Peter, he says Peter, Peter he says Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat. My Lord. But I have prayed for you. Thank you Jesus. That your faith should not fail. 
And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brother. But he said, Peter said, Lord, I'm ready to go with you. Both to prison and to death. And then he said, I tell you, Peter, the rooster shall not crow this day before you will deny me three times mm. that you don't know me. My Lord. And, you know, when I look at that word, I said, only if Peter had taken what Jesus said. Yes. Because Jesus was giving him a prep that you are going to mess up, Peter. Because the devil has his eyes on you. The devil has asked permission to mess you up. And that's the thing, every child of God, the devil wants a hit of you and I. Yes. He wants a hit. He wants to distract you. He wants to mess you up. My Lord. And that is what God's people have to understand. Mm. That once you accept Jesus and you're walking for Jesus with him, that you are a target. That you are a number one enemy of the devil. And he's asking permission to sift you and I. Mm -hmm. And we don't know what method he's going to use My to Lord. sift us. My Lord. But with Peter, Peter says, oh no Lord. Uh, uh, telling the Lord, you, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I know it, I have it, I have My it Lord. man, I have it. I, I can Lord. do my thing, you see. Help and I will say, so. he says, I will go to, with, to prison with you. Help us Lord. Mm -mm. I will go and Jesus is telling the man. That the devil has to mess you up. The thing, if, if Jesus told me that the devil has I would say, Lord, pray for me. Have mercy on me. Yes. Keep me under your yes, wings, Lord. Lord. Let me not walk from under your umbrella, Lord God. Yes. Keep me, Jesus. Amen, 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 Keep me. Amen, amen. But not so with Peter, you see. Peter thought that he right. knew it all. He knew even more than what the Lord was saying. And sometimes God's people fall, fall in the same trap. Yes. Sometimes God's people fall in the same trap. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we think that we have it together. Mm -hmm. We think that we know it, you know. And it is for us to, to, to seek Almighty God. And when God says that we follow the instructions of God. Because if we don't, you see with Peter, Peter says, I, 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 I'll die with you, I'm going to prison. Mm -hmm. he, he felt at the time that he could have done that. And we all sometimes find ourselves at those places yeah. when we think we have it all together. That we, oh, this is it, man, I have it. Uh, this is what I need to do. Mm -hmm. But it's for us to church to always seek the direction of Almighty God. Amen. And when we seek the direction of God, then we follow the instructions of God. Yes. Sometimes God is going to send instructions which is not what we desire. Mm. We don't think that is the right way, but it's for us to heed. Amen. Or else we are going to find ourselves unguarded. Mm. Peter found himself unguarded because whatever Jesus said, it came to pass. My Lord. Instead of Peter finding himself with his other brethren who were in sorrow, Peter found himself among the folks who were condemning Jesus. My Lord. What a way to find yourself. What a place to find yourself. And as he was there warming fire mm -mm. with some people who were no good. Mm -mm. You see, that's the thing. That's what the devil does. When he takes you outside from under the umbrella of Almighty God, he's going to take you to some places where you are going to be left by yourself. And while he was there, somebody looked and said, oh, you, you look like one of them. You, you look like him. You, you look like you usually walk with him. And Peter said, no, I don't know the man. Who are you talking about? And he's still sad. He never remember what Jesus told him. Mm. He didn't remember at all what Jesus said. And somebody came again and says, you know, Peter, you, he says, this man looked. Mm -hmm. You look like him. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you look like you used, you, you used to walk with him. You, you were taught by him, you see. Mm. 
that's the thing with God's people. Once you come into the fold of Almighty God, you're going to have a different appearance, Amen. you see. And sometimes as we take ourselves from under the umbrella, we are marked, folks. We can't get away from the devils in hell. The devil will see us and he sees the mark of Jesus Christ upon our lives. And he is ready to attack us. Oh yes, we got to stay under the umbrella of Jesus Christ. We got to stay under the umbrella lest we get on guard church mm -hmm. Jesus we, we, we are very we, we cannot hide mm. because we now grow in the fellowship with Jesus Christ we're going to look like him church mm. and that's the thing a lot of folks don't know that we take on the appearance of Jesus as we get to know him and to live for him and if we go contrary you know sometimes we find ourselves in different companies and, mm -hmm. and and as you're in it you know you feel like you're not supposed to be here I know. I mean. I'm in the wrong crowd okay. they don't talk like me anymore they don't look like me anymore oh they don't embrace the things that I want to go after they're going contrary to what I'm doing and this is why we can know at that time uh, that we should take ourselves back under the umbrella of Jesus Christ because outside of the church it's we are unguarded and once we're unguarded we're outside and we're left to missiles from the enemy the missiles will come at us Peter found himself in the wrong place and at the wrong time too because he was there when everything was crumbling down on Jesus and he says no I can't I can't identify myself with him because I don't know if I might go stand with him you see and so that's the thing we think that we know in our strength that we can do all of this until we find ourselves outside of the fold of Almighty God. We find ourselves unguarded church. And it's not a good place to be. Because Peter denied Jesus three times as the Lord had said. And when it got to that point the cock crew. And Peter remembered. He says oh my God. How could I deny my Savior? How could I find myself outside of his umbrella? And he wept, the word of God says. He wept bitterly. May God help us, church, that we do not have to find ourselves unguarded. And to remember some of the, the, the messages that were preached unto you. And then you're going to be weeping like Peter. May God help us that we never have to weep like Peter. May God help us. That we will see the signs. That we will understand the word of God. That we will know that the scripture says. He who dwells in the secret place of the most high God. Shall abide under the shadow. Unless you are in the secret place. Mm. Unless you and I are in the secret place of the most high God My Lord. and then we will be unguarded there's nothing guaranteed church outside of that because the word continues to say surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence he shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge and that his shoot shall be your shield and butler you shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that walks in darkness nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday how can we be afraid when we are under the shadows of the almighty God when we are in the secret place of the most high God and we are hiding under the shadow of the almighty God yes we cannot be unguarded but we will be fully guarded and we can walk in confidence knowing that God almighty is with us outside of that we don't have that confidence and in a time like this church we must have the confidence in a time like this, when there's so much going on in this world, we must have the unshaken confidence to know that we are in that secret place. Yes. And so when folks are running crazy about this virus, 
If you and I are in the secret place of the Most High God, guess what? We're abiding. We're just resting up under the shadows of the Almighty God. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't take the precautions like to wash our hands and doing all of that. But not going crazy. Every day wondering, you get up one day if I'm going to feel, and I, do I have the symptoms? Oh, and if you feel a little itch at your throat, oh, wonder if they, you know, people are going crazy. Mm -hmm. People are there losing their minds. Mm -hmm. If you go in the shops, they, every shelf is empty. Mm -hmm. Why? Because folks are unguarded. They are not in the secret place of the Most High God. When you and I are in the secret place of the Most High God, no demon from hell, no virus from hell, and I truly believe it. I was talking to this lady, she called me, it's a friend, and she called me, and, and, and you, did you go and she, I'm in Psalms, and there's so much, nobody, this and the crowd, and everybody is pushing to get me. Did you do a shot? I said, listen to me. I said, listen to me. I'm not going to go crazy like the world. I'm very sorry, but I'm not going to go crazy like the world. And I kind of feel that she never liked what I said. But I am not going to apologize for it because that's me. If you feel like you're unguarded, it's up to you. But don't bring me on that, that bandwagon. I'm not going to follow you. And she continued to say this and this. Did you go to the gym? I said, yes, I went to the gym. You put your shoe. I said, listen to me. You don't hear what I said. I said, I am in the secret place of the amen, Most High amen, God. Amen. That's where I'm dwelling. And I'm going to use wisdom. I'm going to still clean the things with the, with the, the disinfectant. I'm going to live a life which is within the realms. Because I'm not going to go crazy and not doing it. But I truly believe in my heart. And that's my belief. Don't shake my belief. Or don't try to water my faith. I truly believe in God. That if I am in the secret place of the Most High God. Uh, that I work the work of God. You see. I work the word of God. I believe the word of God. And I'm not going to go crazy if no one don't believe. It's up to folks to believe God's word. My Lord. The word of God says it. He says, if you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, that you shall abide under the shadow. He says, if you do it, no disease. I won't allow any disease to come upon you. That's what the word of God says. If you stay in fellowship and if you're obedient to me, I will keep you because I'm God. Amen. I can do it. So when we are as a church, we are not unguarded. And if you're outside the fellowship of God, then you're outside out there. Rain can wet you, sun can burn you, and breeze can blow you away. It's for us to find ourselves in the secret place that God, uh, he, he, he guarantees his divine protection for you and I. He, did, he guarantees that he will care for you and I. No matter what is going on, in word he tells you, to be still and know that I am God. Amen. Be still. No matter what is going on out there, no matter what is coming on, God's people is asked this day. You are called to be still. Amen. And to lift your faith in God. Believe in God's word. Believe it. My Lord. Don't be like the world who doesn't know God. Mm. Don't follow the world who is going crazy. Mm. Tying up their heads in all different kind of things and big goggles they can't see. <laughs> they are about to stumble over some of them. You never know. The devil is about to kill people. Mm. When you look at it, it looks so stupid. They have these long things in their face. Long. It, it, it's crazy, church. Mm -mm -mm. The the, the, the on worldly armor mm. as opposed to putting on the spiritual armor of Almighty God. Amen. If you and I put on the spiritual armor of God, Amen. we will be safe. Amen. And that's what God promises us. So I encourage you today, as you go out of this place, go out by faith. Practice 
practice your hygiene, washing your hands, and don't be stupid now, but knowing that you are in the care of Almighty God, that He's the one who is watching over you, that He's caring for you and I. He has kept you in the womb and He has brought you to a time like this. Some of us gray hairs in our head. He kept us. Amen. And it is for us to believe that. Yes. That God is all powerful and that he can care for us. So we don't have to be like the world who is unguarded. But we know that we are under the divine care of Almighty God. And I'm going to use this scripture to close. First Peter 5, 8 to 10 says, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour, or seeking whom he may confuse and drive crazy. He says, resist him. Be steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To settle your spirit and to settle your mind. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever and ever. Unguarded. Yet, children of God, because I say you dwell in the secret place of the Most High God, you and I are under the umbrella of Almighty God. So we have the greatest guard could ever be. We don't need secret service. Because secret service needs someone to guard them too. <laughs> and little did they know that. We need a divine guard who is above and looking down. And once we're under his wings, we sure will take divine refuge. Father, we praise you and give you glory, O oh God. And we honor you, Heavenly Father, and worship at your footstool. We exalt you and thank you for your divine coverage, O oh God. We thank you that you promise that he who dwells in the secret place of you, the Most High God, ah, we shall abide under the shadow of your mighty wings. We thank you for the coverage and the divine protection of your wings. We pray, God, that you will keep us divinely set and placed under your wings, O oh God. We pray, God, for those who are down with this issue. This virus, God, those who have already contracted it, we pray, God, that you will touch their bodies yes, and Lord. heal them, I pray, Almighty God. Yes, Let it not take them out, yes, O God, our Father. And for us, God, who walk day by day and we don't even know who we are coming in contact with, may you put a ball of fire around us yes, Lord. to burn every, day, every virus. Activity that will want to penetrate and come to hurt us. God, roll us up in a ball of fire, I pray, and cover your people and keep them healthy and safe, O oh Lord God of hosts. I come against, O oh God, our Father, any plan of the wicked one. I come against it by the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Premature death in the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel it. Yes, by the power of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I release life in the lives of God's people. Hallelujah. We give you praise, O oh God, and we give you all the glory. Take your word and let it go forth. And let no hindrance be upon it. In the hearts of your people, God, who receive your word, let it, their hearts rejoice in you, the living God. We give you thanks again and praise your holy name. In no other name, but in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior and God's children, we'll agree and say, Amen. amen. Glory be to God. And amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. And now to whom is able to keep you from falling, may the Lord God Almighty bless you and keep you May he allow his face to shine upon you. 
May he be gracious unto you. Oh, may he lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. May he be behind you to embrace you, beside you to guide you, before you to lead you and above to bless and refresh you. We decree and declare all this done in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior and God's children will receive and say, Amen. Glory be to God. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you.